It's not, you know, are you lesbian, are you straight, mm -hmm. what are you? I mean, people's sexuality is very complicated, as mm -hmm. you can see right here. Yes. But the thing is, if it wasn't for the diary, she's never given you reason to think that she would cheat on you. So if you never read her diary, there'd be nothing wrong in your marriage. So or did you read the diary you. thinking that there was well, something? I had no idea. Like, I, oh, I, I never read the diary to be intrusive. God, it was I a book. I never thought that there was something that I didn't know about Rhonda. So you never so questioned her... Never, faithfulness. Never. I simply ever. wanted to be closer to her. Got it. What do you want to do, Ron? Don't get me wrong, I love my wife. Mm -hmm. However, I felt like if she would have told me, just be upfront with, with, mm -hmm. with how she's feeling, you know? How am I supposed to know if there's something going on? If she's telling me, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, we're married, but I'm not straight. You know, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it, it confuses me. It messes with my pride. It messes with, you know, different things within yeah. me. Rhonda, I know you say that you love him. Are you attracted to your husband sexually? Sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. What does that mean, sometimes? I mean, I am. I'm just... No, let's be real. You said sometimes, so what does that mean? It's okay, to be honest. Well, sometimes it's... It's just different. Like, it feels like I'm a piece of meat that's, like, being... I don't know. I... Tell him how it feels. Sometimes it feels like... Like, it's too quick. Like, you know, like... I'm a piece of meat and you're just, like, there to get whatever you want. Like, you're there to get full. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... I do love you. But you're... You're, you're not trusting in me and, and always accusing me of doing things to break us and our family up. It's like, it's getting to be too much. Like, I, I can't keep doing this. And I, I want it. I need this to work. Like, I need us to fix this however we can. We're going to take a break. And when I come back, I'm going to ask you, Ron, where you stand. And there's, there's a couple of different situations. I mean, one could be, you know, I, I, I love her. This is my wife. I've been with her for so long. I trust her. She's my love. She's my life. And I'm going to try to get through this. And then another thing could be, you know, you know, maybe she's more dominant toward the lesbian side. I agree with Cooper that uh, the sexuality is not so black and white. But maybe she's more dominant toward the lesbian side. And... For her to be happy and for you to be happy, maybe there's a separation that needs to happen. I don't know. I'm going I'm to talk about that when we get back. We'll, we'll be right back. Up next, do you think this marriage can be saved? I can't measure up to what a woman does, you know? And if that's what you want, I can't, I can't give that to you. Still to come, can you keep a secret? This seriously is terrible for our relationship because how can I be a friend to you if you can't be a friend to me by telling people my... I'm back with Ron. He um, was reading his wife's diary. He didn't even know it was a diary. He was going, uh, putting away her laundry and came across a book, read it, and found out that his, his wife that he loves dearly um, is a lesbian or, or was a lesbian. It's very... Uh, <laughs> The definition right now, we're, we're not so sure. Um, before the break, I was asking Ron where, where he's standing. Is he looking at a possible separation and thinking maybe his wife will be happier with women? She says she's not very attracted to him very much. It comes and goes. Um, or is this something that you, you want to work, work out and work on? Don't get me wrong. I, I love you. I love you. You're my heart, you know? However, I feel like I don't want to be made a fool of. You know, if, if there's something that you need to tell me about you or me, you know, I, I would definitely want it to be put in the open, you know. If we put it in the open, we can talk about it, we can discuss it. Well, it's in the open. Beyond it. It's in the open. It wasn't before the book. No, but though, it is you know? now. So right. what are you saying? Like now, where do you stand? I'm saying that maybe had we would have just got the situation out in the open from the beginning yeah you know we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in right now mm -hmm. you know so you're leaning toward leaving I mean, possibly i want you to be happy you know and if being with a woman or women makes you happy then that's what i want you to do you know i don't want you okay, know, but you never would have thought that was what made me happy until you read my diary. Like, I'm happy, and you know that. Like, you never would have thought I wasn't happy if you wouldn't have read it. 
But when I read it and found out that, you know, what your preference is, you know, I know that I can't, I can't measure up to what a woman does, mm -hmm. you know? And if that's what you want, I can't, I can't give that mm -hmm. to you. Have you ever you been know? hurt in the past by guys at all, ever? No, no, I told him he's the only guy I've ever been with, and I didn't lie to him about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was true. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I just didn't tell him that I used to be a lesbian. Mm -hmm. But see, I saw a lot of guys in the past mess over people that I cared about. Mm -hmm. So I grew up hating guys. Mm -hmm. And Rhonda talks about this in, in the everyday conversation. Family members? Family Her members, friend. best friend, mm -hmm. a lot of people, like my sister, my mom. Mm -hmm. so. Are you um, angry that this secret is out? No, I'm just, I'm, I'm hurt. Like, I'm real, uh, what I am angry about is the fact that my trust, like, my privacy was violated. Mm -hmm. Just, but I, I'm a little he's confused such about a big what, deal about it. I'm, I'm a little confused, and Cooper, you can help me out with this, of what privacy is when you're married, when you promise, you know, to, to spend your life with somebody, and yes, he read the diary, but it was like some serious stuff. So she says that her privacy was violated, but I feel like his choice was violated as well. He didn't have a choice. Right. And I feel like it's all about choice. And I am an advocate, literally an advocate for the gay community. But I also feel like that, that to be with a person that is straight or gay or whatever it is, full disclosure makes it fair to give that person, the gay person or the straight person or whatever it is on either side, the choice so they know what they're walking into and they understand and have a choice in that relationship. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think that he's so upset that she was with women before. I think it's the fact he feels betrayed. Yes. She never told him about it. He had to find out on, her, on his own. Mm -hmm. That's the bigger issue. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the issue they need to deal with because now he feels he can't trust her. Mm -hmm. She's not doing anything, but he can't trust her in general because mm -hmm. of that. Did you ever think of telling him before? Uh, before he read my diary? Yeah. No, I didn't think so much into it. Like, we never talked about our past relationships. He didn't tell me who he went out with. Mm -hmm. So, like, I never thought of, like, telling him never who thought. I... No? Did any, like, anything ever happen that was like, ooh, that was close? Like, in the mall, ex-girlfriends come up, and you're like, oh, God, please don't say anything, please don't say anything, please don't make it known that we used to date or anything like that? Um. Any close calls? Yeah, we have had, I have had close calls, but it wasn't like, please don't say anything. It was more like, I'd play, I'd give her a hug and I'd tell Ronald that she used to be a, a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, there was nothing to be suspicious over. Mm -hmm. uh, to, for them, if they are, if they do want to heal, are there things that, that type of thing, like that full disclosure about the past and just everything to clear his head, is that part of the healing process? Absolutely. I mean, really, full disclosure. But I do want to say something, something in defense of diaries. Mm -hmm. There was a big study at UCLA recently, it's, and they found that people that keep diaries are happier. I know. I, I And are that better too. at dealing with emotional, their emotional yes. life. It's called the Bridget Jones effect, actually. Mm -hmm. So I don't want people to think, oh, that's it, I'm throwing out my diary. A diary is a very good thing. A journal is yes. a very good thing. And men should do it, too, FYI. But this <laughs> is about the, him feeling betrayed by her. Regardless mm -hmm. what the betrayal is, it's the overall feeling that he can't trust her. Mm -hmm. Once trust is eroded in a relationship, it just goes downhill from there. It's true. Rhonda, what were you about to say? Like, after this whole incident, I threw my diary away, and I don't have a diary anymore. Well. He has it, obviously. I don't know how he has it. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't have a diary anymore, so when I'm feeling a certain way, I'll just write it down on a piece of paper, and then I'll tear it up and throw it away so that it won't cause more problems. A diary is really, really important to you. Yeah. Really important. I've mean, had a diary since I was like 10. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the password journal? You mm -hmm. know, you, you say the password yes. and it's voice activated. <laughs> you had that. Yeah. Yeah. Ron, would you be willing to go to therapy? Absolutely. Yeah? She's worth it. Yeah? She's worth it. Aww. I love you. You can hug. I know you're on stage, but you can hug and touch me. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I do feel it would have made things a lot better. I know, I know. Like, I know now that telling you ahead of time would have avoided all of this. Like... Mm -hmm. And now I don't know what to think. You know, you on your phone, you on the phone with your friends saying, "Oh yeah, you look so cute, and I just love you." And she, I don't she know told how to take me that. she thinks she looks fat, and I told her that <laughs> I told her that she looks great, and anybody would be lucky to have her. Well, I, I feel small. Yeah.
Ron, everything is not sex. I'll just let you know, like with the gay community, like every guy, every gay guy doesn't want every man. And every gay woman or whatever doesn't want every single woman. So when she's saying, oh, she's pretty, she's not saying, oh, I want to do her. How do I know? Okay, you're, you're going to get some therapy. You're going to get some therapy. And it is now you have the choice. It's all out in the open, and it is your choice to stay or work on it. And I wish you the best. And in the meantime, we're going to get you a diary with a safe. Okay? <laughs> you handle a secret spilling friend? I don't feel there should be secrets between us. Like, but we're all best personal. friends. And I trusted you with that. That's something really personal.